Yeah, hi there. And these comments are for C. I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes. Um, I'm taking a look at your independent speaking practice test. So you wrote 389 words. That's fine. That's plenty enough for this type of uh, writing task. Now if I remember correctly, this one is where should we spend our money? Should we spend our money on uh, resources and helping people here on the world or should we spend money on space exploration? I'm going to just get rid of that and say some people agree with spending time and valuable resources on searching other planets and satellites like Mars or the Moon. But also but these people think that there is a future out there. If you're going to say but, I wouldn't say but again. Maybe here you can say nonetheless. These people think that there is a future out there, but they do not realize that time is constant, that humanity does not have I wouldn't say any of this. So let's just get rid of this. Since those new planet opportunities are hundreds of years ahead, considering this, it is better for humanity and all the living things which inhabit the world So it is better for the humanity and all the living things which inhabit the world that humans expend their wisdom, time, money, and time improving the planet Earth before thinking, maybe you might say about allocating money toward, you might say here, space exploration. All right, let's look at your next paragraph. So I think that it's better for hum humanity and all the living things which inhabit the world that humans expend their wisdom, money, research, and time improving the planet Earth before thinking about allocating money towards space exploration. That's not a very specific thesis. You can pretty much go anywhere with the way that you frame that. So I would recommend a more specific thesis. One, which maybe includes two supporting points. Maybe you think it's better to spend money on Earth to address poverty and to help improve our education, for example. Then in one paragraph, you can talk about how we can use money toward poverty or toward eliminating poverty. You write 100 words on that. Then you can have another paragraph that maybe talks about using money to improve our education system, I think, in the world. So you say going out to space requires almost half of the living time that a human has, and it's not easy to go out there. But to me, how does that relate to your thesis? Your thesis is that we spend the money here on Earth. And in the very next paragraph, you're talking about going to space. If you want to use a counter-argument, you can put the counter-argument in the beginning, in the first paragraph. I, I have no problem with that. But once you get into the body paragraphs, it's probably better to go ahead and get to your argument. Now, to be fair... Let me go to the writing here right now. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right prompt. So you did writing. I think it was like number four. 
I think. Let me take a look at it just for a minute, make sure I'm looking at the right one. Let's see what we have. No, it's not that one. Maybe it's number three. See if this one's it. Yeah, here. So here's the actual question which we need to really keep in mind as we look at your essay. Because that's really what it comes down to for TOEFL writing is how well did you address the writing task. So here it says, some people think government should spend as much money as possible exploring outer space. Other people disagree and think government should spend this money for our basic needs on Earth. Which of these two opinions do you agree with? Use specific reasons and details to support your response. So my recommendation here, instead of getting to the counter argument here, get to the first argument of why we should spend this money on our basic needs. I'm going to go ahead and make some corrections here. So the people selected for this space mission or for space missions are specialists and they spend almost all their lives, plural here, training for the space mission. The distance in, the, in space is measured by light years. That means that every planet, satellite, asteroid, or anything else that could help us in the future is too far for humans right now. And all the technology that is needed for research and for traveling into the into space is expensive. Actually, all that amount of money spent in exploring I want to say outer space. might help improving the actual global warming situation or or you might just say the medical research field to improve our health with new vaccines or treatments for pathologies that are prevalent these days. And you say on the other hand see I don't think you needed this counter argument if it asks if the question said to discuss both positions I would do that, but it doesn't say that. It says, which of these two opinions do you agree with? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. So you have, on the other hand, How about this? Let's make this a subject. So we need to make it a gerund. So investigating about the possibility of moving away one part of the population of the Earth in the far future is not a rough or crazy idea. Additionally, having the possibility to find some other resources like the ones that are on the planet Earth or maybe better can encourage people and researchers to go further. Like in the movies, Living outside the earth could be a possibility in the far future if the humanity does not do anything to conserve the, this planet. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get what you're trying to do here. You say that it's better if we spend this money to improve the earth and then the rest of your body paragraphs you talk about space exploration. So what you say in the, in the first paragraph doesn't really match what happens in your uh, body paragraphs. So let's look at your conclusion. Fine, we have the human behavior. Human behavior 
does not change and if we do not appreciate what earth is giving us and then taking back to her or giving back to her and taking back to her a sustainable development We will have to explore outside other, have to explore other possibilities. We must have seen our past errors in instruction. I'm going to say here, we must see our past errors in destruction and not wait until it will have happened. And I'm just going to say here, I don't know what you're saying, I'm going to say unclear meaning. Okay, so here's my recommendation though. What I'm going to do is to give you a suggestion of what you can do, I think, to help move the essay in a, in a little bit better direction. So I'm going to say that spending money on our basic needs on earth can help countries to end poverty, improve education and increase employment. So if you say this, this is where you kind of ran off the cliff. You actually need a thesis here. So let's I'll just kind of make it we'll make it blue here. So spending money on our basic needs on earth can help countries to end poverty to improve education and increase employment. Now, let's take a look at the topic sentence that, that we want to create. You might say, first of all, instead of investing in exploration we governments should spend more money on how about more money to end poverty that would be a good topic sentence so first of all instead of investing in space exploration governments should spend more money to end poverty then you can say, second of all, different countries should also allocate more money toward improving education because education is really broad you can say especially at the elementary level now you it, it probably should be spent at all levels but for the purposes of a paragraph you can talk about what the benefits of uh, improving education at the elementary school level you know kids from maybe age 7 to maybe 10 or 11 Finally, this is this is. I'm just giving you ideas on how you could reorganize your essay so that it better addresses the writing task.
So then the last idea here, you could say each country should take the money saved from exploration and invest it in increasing employment opportunities for its citizens. See what I'm saying here? So if you did something like this, if you use this as a thesis to say one fact, spending money on our basic needs on earth can help countries to end poverty, improve education, and increase employment, then you say, first of all, instead of investing in space exploration, governments should spend more money to end poverty. Then you create maybe 100 words illustrating that. Then you say, second of all, different countries should also allocate more money toward improving education, especially at the elementary school level. You spend another 100 words defending that. And then you say, finally, each country should take the money saved from space exploration and invest it in increasing employment opportunities for its citizens, and then a hundred words with that, and then your conclusion and you're done. So that way, all of your body of paragraphs are spent developing the argument that you've already stated in the first paragraph. So this would give you a better organization, one which better addresses I think the writing task. So what is your score here? According to the rubrics here, you got five, four, you got three. You have uh, three addresses of topic and task. I don't know, I'm gonna put you lower than three even. It, it limited development in response to the topic and the task. You made the argument about why spending money on earth is more important and then in the body paragraphs you didn't say anything about that. You spent all your time talking about the opposite idea which I didn't think worked very well based on what the writing task was. So I'm going to put you in the two area. Now if you take a look at... Um, I'm going to put you in the... Um, I'm going to put you right now at about 2.0 out of 5 or 75 points out of 100 mainly because you really didn't have a really tight, tightly organized essay that addressed the writing task.